All praise is due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all hopeful members of the elect. This is in regards to the Sardinians and uh, the Sicilians. Um, there's a lot of our people, you know, who are, uh, you know, they were a part of the diaspora and a lot of them, they still migrate and live throughout Italy, right? Um, I already made a previous video about um, about the car, like the car resco, like the Morescos, right? And uh, same thing, you know, they're the Moors, you know, who were, uh, some of them adopted Islam but a lot of them, they still, you know, kept their uh, jewelry. You know, they still kept their customs of being Jews. And, um, you know, um, ultimately what happened, um, there was a lot of our people that was into the Christianity, right? Because they were p paid by the Pope, you know, the, and basically, um, you know, that's why there was the wars, the crusades and all that. You know, that's a very in-depth, you know, um, knowledge, you know, because it's very, our knowledge, our uh, history is very vast, man, you know, and it's not, uh, it's very complex. This is uh, Wikipedia, Sardinia, Italian, um, is second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea after Sicily and one of the 20 regions of Italy. It is located west of the Italian, the Italian Peninsula, northern like Tunisia, and uh, immediately south of the French island of the Corisco. Right? When you look at this, the flags, you know, has the Moors. Alright, the Moors head. Alright, so uh, there's a lot of our people that still live there. You know, um, you know, a lot of our people there, some of them, they're going to look very light. You know, some of them, they're very dark, you know, throughout, you know, Sardinia, you know, throughout Italy, you know, and um, that's why Paul, you know, Paul, he was, uh, uh, you know, he was a Hebrew, you know, of uh, living in Jerusalem, you know, prior to him, you know, going into um you know, the Lord knocked him off the horse and basically uh, Saul, you know, his name was changed to Paul, but basically, um, you know, he would go throughout, you know, Asia Minor, you know, to, uh, you know, like to correspond with the Israelite foreigners, you know. Um, so it's very vast, man. Our history is very vast. This is uh, Sicily. It says uh, Sicily is the largest and most population is the most most populous island in the Mediterranean Sea and one of the twenty regions of Italy. The Strait of Messina, uh, the Strait of Messina, divided in it from the region of Calabria, southern Italy, is a, one of the five Italian autonomous regions and. Official regarded to the region Sicilian. Um, the region has five million inhabitants. Its capital city is Pal Palermo. You know, and um, I'm gonna scroll down. The earliest agricultural evidence of human activity on the island dates from the early as. Uh, 1200 BC and uh, around 750 Sicily, uh, three, Ph three Phoenician and a dozen Greek colonies, and it was uh, later this, uh, the site of the Sicilian War and the Punic Wars, right? So uh, during the Punic Wars, you know, prior um, the Phoenicians, you know, which were the Hamites, a lot of them, they were. Uh, they were travelers, you know, they were men of the sea, you know, the Hamites. And, uh, you know, and um, that's why, uh, 
you know, during the time of uh, King David and Solomon, you know, they were, you know, that like they made a pact with uh, Ty the, the, the people of Tyre, which would be a uh, so-called Phoenician, the Hamites, and uh, like they would get wood, they would get precious resources and stuff, and um, and they would basically trade, you know, um, believers in, um, in kings, um, and basically uh, they would trade, you know. Um, but I'm kind of cr uh, crunch for time, you know, but uh, the Punic Wars and Sicilian Wars, um, I'm going to read about this, you know, like this is Hannibal Barca, right, which is like, you know, like this is a coin, right, so I showed you that this is uh, the coin that he had woolly hair, black, dark skin, black, all right, and uh, he's a man who uh, waged war against Rome. You know, against um, you know, against the Romans, which have been you know, you Edomites, you know, who was uh, in power at the time, you know, um, uh, so-called Scipio Africanus, and that's why after that war, you know, um, they, you know, because basically, um, you know, that whole landmass Africa, you know, is basically. Uh, it's an insult, you know, to call that whole landmass, you know, because basically that was a, a a Roman general who conquered, uh, you know, the people of Carthage, right? Right. So you know, so this is how the coin was, right? And this is the elephant. So they, you know, and uh, Hannibal, um, watch. Uh, I'm gonna share the link in the description about um, Hannibal. You know, and they show you, you know, that Hannibal was a, a black man, or right, or so-called Negro, all right, Hannibal of Carthage. Yeah, because there's a, they have this like white man. Yeah, he's like, this is the real Hannibal, the barbarian rise. I'm gonna share this link in the description. You know, you know, we were mighty men, man, you know, and, um, you know, it's just like how King David was a mighty man, you know, let me put that, David's mighty man, you know, you know, we were, you know, so, hold on one second, just flowing in the spirit. Whatever Kakwadash permits, uh, David. Mighty man. So, lucky, okay, okay. Second, Second Kings, twenty-three, verse eight. I could get that. I could get First Chronicles eleven and ten to nine. Hold on, one second. First Chronicles eleven, ten to nine. I want to get that. The chronicles, the chronicles of the kings, right? The records, right? And you know, like that's why um, the book of Kings, you know, um, the kings, the chronicles, and all this whole book, you know, it was set up, you know, for us, you know, and um, you know, King, you know, like King James, you know, um, the fourth. You know of uh, the Stuarts. You know, he was uh, he was the one who basically set up. You know, like the etiquette. You know, um, to assemble the Bible. You know, and to because basically uh, the 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 like the, the the books. You know, was written uh, in Hebrew, 
you know, Aramaic, you know, Arabic, you know, um, so, uh, you know, King James, he, uh, he set the etiquette, you know, for the, um, the scribes, you know, over, uh, I believe over 60 scribes, you know, who basically assembled that, you know, the, the book that we have now, you know, so that we could prophesy because, uh, you know, King James, you know, he was beheaded, you know, by his own people, you know, to, um, you know, the so-called, uh, the Hasmoneans, you know, and, um, you know, so the Hanoverians, you know, and basically, uh, there was like the Jacobite wars and all that. You know, and then, um, so that's why a lot of our people, uh, like they came to the Americas too, all right? Because uh, there's a big wars and stuff there amongst Jake, you know, fighting for uh, power and, and things. So, yeah, First Chronicles, uh, Slaka. First Chronicles 11 and 15. It says the mighty the mighty made king over all Israel um, Chronicles 10 10 the David's mighty men these are also who are the chief of the mighty men of whom David had who strengthened themselves with him in the kingdom and with all Israel to made to make him king according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel right because you know Samuel you know he anointed uh, you know King David you know and because because Saul you know he was rebellious and ultimately was set up you know and uh, you know because Saul he was uh, you know rebellious he was supposed to um, slaughter all the so-called uh, uh, like the people of Amalek you know and uh he spared the one you know and uh, the the king of uh amalek he fled he went into egypt you know for uh, you know for refuge you could go into that history but um you know you know you know king david you know and um as well as um when you read about you know hannibal you know hannibal barca his father you know like these were mighty men man and um you know there's many wars and stuff you know even slave you know slave revolts you know throughout the americas and throughout africa too you know so uh you know throughout brazil throughout um america you know you know so there's a lot of uh war there's a lot of history man a lot of people were uh fighting man you know to try to you know keep their integrity this is the number of the mighty men whom David had Josh Bam and Hak Hak Manit, the chief of the captain, he lifted up his spear against the three hundred slain by the, by him at once. Right? So th 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 these were mighty men, man, you know, and they had uh you know spiritual power man so it's like like they had you know like precious type stones and certain things you know and the lord was dealing with them man you know because uh these type of uh stones and gems and stuff um you know esau's using it on 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 his side the left hand side you know to uh for his technology and certain things man that um you know that we kind of lost that way you know here in the west we lost that that way man because um you know when you read about the so-called maroons of um you know of uh, J uh jamaica and as well as uh, like the maroons throughout um you know throughout the south and um as well as uh, south america you know like they were uh they were mighty you know and they knew like how to operate you know elements and and all that and use the 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 land you know the elements for their advantage man. all right so um you know david's mighty warriors 
you know, because read about, you know, King David, the special operation force, you know, the shock troops, right? A similar is given in uh, First Chronicles 11, 10, 14, so you could read. So, yeah. You know, David's mighty man, you know, and, and, you know, and see how they whitewash this, you know. You know, because uh, you Edomites were, you, like, you Edomites were in, uh, you know, Petra, you know, over there in Jordan, you know. You know, like, that was uh, you Edomites region. Uh, Sardinia. Yeah, because this is uh, Elba. This is Ital Italy. All right, this is our region, you know, it's an uh, alpha island of Italy. Uh, Tuscany, Italy. I read about it, but um, you know, like this is where a lot of our people inhabited, you know, and um, a lot of our people were living as well as you know with um, uh, you know like with the you know that's why uh, the Lord he's gonna know who's who's uh of the seed or stock of abraham isaac and jacob and um and we're, and we're gonna know who's the hamites and all that right because uh jake is scattered man all right because uh you know not everyone uh because everyone's not because everyone is black or dark um that we're of the same stock right um you know uh, the so-called like the Japhites, you know, like they were very dark. When you read about the Etruscans, you know, they were very dark. Um, you know, you damn Moabites was very was very dark, even though they try to they try to lighten themselves. <laughs> you know, you know, the, the only oddball is the you so-called uh, Edomites, man. You know. Um, Yeah, this is um, the crown, the crown of, uh, the crown of Aragon, you know, that's uh, throughout uh, Spain, in yeah, Malta, you know, throughout that region, right? That's why a lot of our people, uh, you know, like my mother, like she has like a, um, a Portuguese and as well as Italian uh, crest, you know, with that, with her, that name. You know, um, basically, uh, you know, of the coast, right, or Costa, right. So, uh, you know, we, we, you know, we have we have a lot of uh, history, man. You know, some of our people are practicing uh, Islam or Arabic. You know, because uh, not all of them were um, not all of them were Muslim. You know, you know, but they were able to uh, to uh, read and speak you know the aramaic or the aramaic you know look at these languages you know so um that's why when you read about uh you know mateus da costa um they you know his his parents or his fathers you know um were living through uh through portugal and they would uh, trade back and forth you know to the newfoundland and um throughout that region you know you know the codfish you know it's uh very deep because uh you know esau wants to just act like you know like we were always in slavery no you know like we were here prior you know to you uh you devils coming here man it says uh the converso this is off of wikipedia the converso Feminine of conversa, uh, Latin conversa, is uh, was a Jew who converted to Catholicism in Spain or Portugal. Is a particularly during the 14th and 15th centuries, as one of the descendants to uh, safeguard the old Christian, it's a population and make sure the converse, the conversos new Christians were 
true and their faith new and their new faith the holy official of the inquisition was established in spain 1478 in in catholic monarch the catholic monarch Fernandon and isabella expelled the remain uh, openly practicing jews by the Alhambra like decree of 1492 right so that's during the time of spain um the like the last stronghold of granada right Cause a lot of them were jews right a lot of them weren't muslims but some of them were uh you know they were um they were also basically they were protecting like you know like they're protecting themselves but a lot of them were you know like practicing that islamic faith but some of them were um would just say that yeah that they're practicing that faith but you know they knew you know that they're jews you know you read about um you know you read that documentary about spain you know i'll probably share that link in the description you know uh, the new course christian it says conversal so i mean but the conversal did not fully or generally embrace is a catholicism but continually to practice judaism in secret right and also you know you know because we had uh we had you you either might as slaves so um you know the khazars you know like they were living amongst us you know because ultimately you know you you slaps you know like we had this whole slave market you know it's called the barbarian slave uh slave raids you know and all that you know so uh you know like that's why you uh, when you read about that book um the 13th tribe you know written by uh arthur costner which was uh yeah Edomite, and it talks about um uh, you know um you know how they you know 747 22 or something 740 uh ad you know it's, that's when they started practicing uh you know our uh, faith you know and some of them you know like they were muslims right and that's why when you read about the ottomans uh 1453 you know like that was the last uh you know like the byzantine empire fell and then uh the turks took over you know you know um so you had uh, Ishmael, you had the Edomites, you know, and then there's a whole uh, slavery, man. You know, so a lot of our people fell. You know, some of our people sold out each other, but some of our people were still, you know, you know, throughout Europe still as kings and uh, so-called queens. New Christian converted of Muslim origin were known as Moriscos. Unlike Jewish conversos, the Moriscos were subject to an edict of expulsion even after their their conversion to catholicism so you know so that's why some of them went to africa some of them actually came to the americas you know um i'm gonna probably share this link in the description as well i'm running out of time so with that let's just all praise do unto you how about shim ya how shay about shim ya kakodash double unto the apostles of great millstone peace and bless to the whole remember that